Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Europe USC Classes and Geography. Now, uh, some of you might have got problem with the new topo sheet and I've actually discussed a lot of things with the topo sheet, some new features, edo series and so many things. Now, this particular video is a simple recap of the various features which are already there. We'll talk about very few things in this particular video. That is why it's a very short video, but we'll definitely give you a clear concept on what are certain things let's talk about the first thing that is spot height then we'll talk about relative height relative depth triangulated height benchmark so when you talk about the spot height you see black dots present with a three digit number on the topo sheet now these three digit numbers signify what they actually signify the height of that place the height of that place from where from the mean sea level height of that particular place above mean sea level now what is the difference between other heights which are available on the topo sheet see spot height is only visible on the topographical map whereas other height like triangulated height or benchmark they are actually available on the original ground on the actual ground as well and on the map also but spot height is simply the height of a, that particular place on the topo sheet so you can see on the topographical map how it is shown like so as you can see on the map it is indicated on a map not on the ground i already told you this thing and uh, uh, it is represented by a dot followed by a number on the map let's say this number then you will find there are so many dots and a three digit number over there this number shows the height above mean sea level of this particular place so it's a spot height it simply gives the information about the height of a specific point only it never gives you an idea about what type of relief feature is that whether it is a mountain whether it is a plain whether it is a plateau all right so it never gives you that idea it only says that this particular place has got some kind of elevation so the height is such and such above mean sea level and that is why it is shown only on the map the next height uh, is actually the relative height. This is also visible on the map. Right. This relative height is shown by a small letter that is R. Small R. Okay. It's written in both colors. Either it will be written in black color or it will be written in blue color. If it is written in black color, it is called relative height. And if it is written in blue color, it is called relative depth of that particular place. Now, what actually these heights are what is actually relative height most importantly see relative means always a difference between two points when we say relative anything relative humidity relative uh, what you call relative height so it, it it's actually a relationship all right rather you can say it's a ratio but it's not ratio since we are establishing a relationship that means we have to there are two objects and between these two objects or between the uh, two points we are actually finding out something so relative height is actually the difference between the maximum point as well as the minimum point or you can say the highest point and the lowest point on the ground as well as on the map also. So you will find so many uh, three digit, uh, not three digit actually uh, it is written with a small r and followed by a two digit number basically a single digit number all right. So this actually is represented by the letter R, which indicates relative height. So if you find like 3R or this uh, thing is written on the map, you can clearly see whether it is on a slope, it, you will find it on a river bank or on an embankment of a topo sheet. So it means that the, that concerned place is higher by 10 meters or 2 meters than its natural lowest place. Okay. It's simply the difference between maximum and minimum point okay and uh, when we say this height we actually mean a height from the slope so if this is a slope there will be one highest point and other will be a lower point so it is represented by a three or, or a letter R okay next thing which is visible is if it is indicated somewhere near a well and if it is written with a blue then it represents the depth of that particular well all right I hope you understood this thing relative height and relative depth now in the examination you don't have to worry about about the explanation or the definition the definition remains very simple that relative height is actually the difference 
between the highest point and the lowest point of the map that's it and when you are asked that what does this represent for example what does dot 10 r represent simply write down this 10 r represents the relative height of this particular place which means this particular place is 10 meters higher than the highest or than the lowest point on that particular map or of that particular place 10 meters higher than that of the lowest point of that particular place so that's why it is the relative it is the difference between highest point and the lowest point i hope you understood relative height let's talk about the next thing that is triangulated height or triangulation point now triangulation point is actually the surveyed point and it is the accurate height all right when the point has been accurately surveyed it is shown with a small triangle you can see here this point is also called triangulation point followed by a three digit number sometimes four digit number okay the height of such point is called triangulated height and since it is calculated trigonometrically therefore the height here calculated is actually exact height or accurate height it's a surveyed height so most of the mountain peaks are actually indicated by a triangulation point so if you are asked for a, uh, with a triangulation point simply say this is the triangulated height the actual surveyed height which is accurate shown with a triangle and it is determined by trigonometry by the use of trigonometry so triangulated height is simply the accurate height marked with a small triangular structure or triangle followed by a three digit number or sometimes four digit number indicating the height of a peak or a mountain or a hill anything all right i hope you understood this thing triangulated height or triangulation point we'll talk about the next thing that is benchmark these marks are actually sometimes written on either a stone or a tree or uh, anywhere it is called etching the mark and it is written with a letter b m and followed by some number okay b capital letter b and m is written and then it is followed by a certain number so does this serve as a reference for surveyors so a benchmark is written as b m this number indicates the height of the surface level at the mount point okay that means there is a difference between spot height and benchmark spot height indicates only the height above the mean sea level whereas benchmark indicates the height of some point marked above the ground it includes the height of the object on which benchmark is etched also that all mark is etched and it is available both on the map as well as on the actual ground so simply you can need to understand that benchmark is the surveyed marks the survey, survey sometimes they write down something when they count so they write or when they survey things they write down the count they write down the height that this particular place is the surface height all right from that particular point only not from the lowest point or not from the mean sea level from that particular point what is the height of this particular place that is what when benchmark is these were some of the heights which you will see on the map starting from spot height relative height relative depth triangulation point or triangulated height and benchmarks i hope you understood this thing try to go through the map understand try to answer by yourself try to solve some of the topo sheet you'll be able to understand things in a much more better way thank you so much for watching the video do like share and subscribe the video as well bye bye and take care